The easiest way to get good at Gorilla Tag is not learning some really fancy TikTok juke or seeing someone vert to out of the map. That is not how you get good. Also, if you want to get good, don't watch tutorials on how to do the hardest things if you're still doing the basics. The fastest way to get better is by practicing what you're not doing right. I want to learn how to wall climb, okay? And I'm like not knowing how to wall climb, but I want to learn how to vert. Well, it's impossible, guys, to go from not even knowing to verting. You need to learn the basics of wall climbing first. So, if you actually want to improve, here's the things you're going to need to get better. Let's go. Number one, on the walls. You want to get better on the walls. Here's a scenario. Someone's chasing you, and you get so caught up because you don't know how to wall climb. He tags you. You get mad because you couldn't loose your run. Okay, so here's what you're gonna wanna practice. If you're struggling, just uh, going up the wall like this and you kinda look like me right now, um, you're gonna wanna practice somewhere where it's more difficult. This wall is good for learning the basics because it's so like, it's an easy curve so you can easily just go up. But if you wanna get better, try a harder wall like this. Try just being able to go up it and that will drastically improve your wall climbing. If you want to learn how to wall climb, I'ma just head over there. So, uh, and just like that, I am over here. Okay, so this is the beginner wall, or what I call it. It's also really good for getting good at verts because there's this wall. You wanna start off with wall climbing. And once you get that down, so I'm gonna teach you how to wall climb real quick. I'll get to wall running after, up to a different wall, back and forth. How you do this is you put your hand flat on the wall, it doesn't matter how, how you're holding it, this does not matter, it's all preference. But while you're on this, you're pulling down to your waist. So it should start here, right? right at, my shoulder is right here, so right at your shoulder level. Then you're gonna pull to your waist, but kind of pull like straight. If it's a wall like, say here, just pull to your waist. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you what that looks like. Once you pull down to your waist, 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 and depending how far you are from the wall, that's how far you should move your hand. Now we're gonna get on to wall running. So, to wall run, it's the exact same, except you're just going up. So you're basically doing the exact same movement, except you're not bouncing to one wall and turning. You are not turning at all, you are just going straight. When you move your hand down to your hip, do a circle and just keep repeating that. That is basically how you wall run. Wall run, it's the exact same on the other hand. Just It's bigger ovals and smaller ovals. Bigger, smaller. So these are smaller. I can't really do them with them, but. Smaller is also how you vert, but that does not matter right now. And bigger which should look like this, is how to get more like height. Okay, so now we're gonna go to branching. Let's, what I always like to say about branching is to come over to the bridge because you can just walk up the bridge and you have all these options of nice, healthy trees that look like they're about to die to practice on. Okay, so for beginners, I usually tell them to use this branch because you can go up that each each way okay each way and you can go down so this is really good for practicing so if you j uh, this is beginner so if you just started branching I'm gonna do intermediate after and stuff if you just start branching you're gonna want to practice how hard you need to hit to get to each branch so you come here and you just practice how hard you need to bounce if you're bouncing too high that's how you know, and you also learn this real quick from just playing. And if you're bouncing way too far, you're gonna go too far. So practice not going too short, and not going too far. And once you get that down, you can practice going to different branches, and to different directions, like this. Instead of going that way, you can go up to that branch. And I will show you more of the basics later. Okay, now we're in intermediate. So intermediate, you should know how to do like this by now and stuff. But I'm gonna teach you how to like get better.
better at doing this, okay? Okay, so for intermediate, I'd start here because it's smaller branches, or I'd start from the ground. So intermediate branching introduces hitting from the tree back to the branch, and sometimes using the wall to hit back to a branch. You can practice doing this by coming over to this section of trees and just bouncing up and to another branch, up and to another branch, and you can also practice by doing this, then coming over here. Okay, pro, I'd say I'm about a pro. Pro, you should be able to branch, I'm just gonna say. But use, for pro, use more tactics like the reg roll or whatever you wanna call it, the hospital flip, and use more like upside down, no, the zip line, and then just like push off and stuff. And you should be able to scale by then too, so. Okay, third thing, let's go. One of my most least favorites, sorry, what is that? Bro, what the? Okay, so, you're gonna wanna be getting better at the ground, right? That was the cringiest thing I've ever, whatever. Okay, you wanna get better at the ground, right? So, this is beginner, intermediate, then pro, okay? So, beginner. Um, you're gonna be a beginner, obviously, so you're probably gonna be bouncing as high as you can to get away. Okay, the easiest tip I can give you. Don't hit hard up, hit hard this. Hit. So pull your hand to your body really fast. Don't like hit yourself in the balls or whatever. Just go to your, past your side like this, because then you're closer to the ground so you can like do and then eventually get better at juking. Okay, that is, and you can also learn how to funny run with just basically just doing this. Intermediate, you can probably do this pretty easily now. Okay, that's not that's not a challenge for you guys because you're intermediate. You're like my grandpa. Yeah. Okay. So um, I need to stop saying that. Okay. Basically, what you want to do is you know how to do all this movement, right? So you want to start learning tricks on how to move faster, kind of like this. You can have your hand like this. It doesn't matter. Just like kind of kind of do something like this because that will make you go faster and learn how to move like backwards and sideways in every other direction. Okay, so if you wanna get better at wall running, a really easy and good place to practice is here because of how easy this is. Because look at how much, like you, you don't even slide down it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love showing you guys the basics and new tricks to become even better than a pro, which is a god, which I am not. And I hope to be, even though I have like a thousand hours on Gorilla Tech, I still suck. But thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And monkey, monkey, monkey.